I am Major General Andrzej Rudowicz and Commander of the NATO Joint Warfare Center. The Joint Warfare Center is a premier training facility providing NATO's training focal point for the full spectrum of joint operational level warfare for the NATO command and force structure. We are responsible for improving doctrine on the NATO level and also for integrating capability development into exercises. I'm Rear Admiral Jim Kirk, Deputy Commander and Chief of Staff of the Joint Warfare Center. I and the 250 team members from 15 NATO countries work together to provide the best possible training for our NATO Warfighting Commands. The Joint Warfare Center's mission is to create a framework for NATO to exercise its command and force structure in preparation for their missions. Our focus is the operational level and the method is simulation. The exercise planning team synchronizes our 10 enterprises to build the exercise. The speed in which this can be done varies, but is common to use between 12 to 24 months. We have state-of-the-art communication information systems to build the required architecture for the individual exercise. We have a scenario section, who creates the foundation for the crisis. And we have the content branch, which through the main event and main incident lists, brings lives to the execution phase. When we talk about Mel Mill, we actually talk about a scripted story which the training audience has to deal with. What we try to achieve with Mel Mill is to cover a comprehensive um, synchronization and coordination across all domains, land, air, maritime, space, cyber, and above all the different levels of command. We have a media branch who replicates the information environment. We deliver information effects using multiple platforms, including television news, online news articles, adversarial websites, and also through our social media platforms, which have become increasingly relevant in today's information battle space. We have a higher control who replicates the aligned strategic structures. The Grey Cell, who replicates international and non-governmental organizations, as well as host nations. And we have the opposing forces to make sure that the enemy gets a vote. The hope for is to provide a realistic adversary during exercises in order to reach the training objectives. We simulate all instruments of power, and not only the military. The more professional op for is, the better training you get. The more professional op for is, the more challenging the, the dilemmas will be. Uh, by having a, re a very realistic op for you can be very good prepared for a real life crisis. The CAX branch makes sure hundreds of thousands of units are where they should at any given time. We are using computer models that are representing the virtual theater. So the entire battlefield is represented inside the computer models. Forward deploy training teams connect the training audience with the exercise control structure. The analysts work more closely, hand in hand in fact, with the observer trainer teams that are deployed because they, as the eyes and ears of the organization, are the collectors of the information that we require to do the formal reporting on training objective achievement and recommendations for lessons identified and best practices. And the exercise control structure itself sits centrally located in Stavanger, controlling the structures whether during crisis response planning or execution phase. All this is tied together by a competent real-life support team that facilitates up to 1,200 external participants. The Joint Warfare Center truly is unique for its mission in NATO. We provide a first-class training environment in order to improve the military interoperability, readiness and responsiveness of the Alliance. Our work is critical in ensuring that NATO can meet current and future security challenges.